this video, we would like to present you the LED WS2812. Unlike the old version of LED strips, where each LED has to follow the same color of the entire strip, with LED type WS2812, it's a different story, because each LED has its own IC. That means you can address and control every single LED individually, both color and brightness. This allows you to produce a beautiful animation and color transition of over 16 million different colors per pixel. Nevertheless, it allows communication via one wire interface. That means you can program the entire strip using just a single pin from your controller, whereas in the standard LED strips, more connection cables are required. Features. The number of LEDs per meter varies between 30, 60, and 144 LEDs per meter. The full technical documentation for each product is provided on our website and is easy to download. And you can cut it to the length you want. You just need to follow it at the cutting points that are marked by the manufacturer. You can even use just one LED and attach it to a different project. Or you can easily extend the length by soldering strips together if you require a longer strip for a bigger project. If you wish, it's also possible to solder any connectors to the strip, and there is an adhesive tape on the back if you'd like to stick the strip on the surface. We recommend using special profiles for the LED strips. It gives a nicer look and it's good to use it for easy and practical installation. How to use it. Usually each LED type, WS2812, has three connectors. Two for the power supply and one for the data signals. This arrow shows the flow direction of the data signals, which is coming from the main controller, entering the strip through the data input connector, going through the data output connector, which is connected to the data input in the next LED in the strip, and then through the data output to the data input of the following LED, and so on. If you're trying to solder two strips together, check the arrow to keep the flow of the data signals in one direction. And remember to solder the positive with positive, and ground with ground. To power our strip, we are going to use Arduino Uno, which is the main controller and it's programmed to light up and control each LED in the strip. The connection is pretty simple, as we need to connect the 5V terminal of the strip to the 5V pin on our Arduino, and the ground terminal of the strip to the ground pin on Arduino. Then the middle terminal of the strip, which is the data signal, which goes to the digital pin number 6 on Arduino. If you would like to power more LEDs in the same strip, we recommend using an external power source. You can find the recommended power supply on our website on the same page, just below the LED strip which you've already chosen. This power supply from Meanwell, with protection against overvoltage and short circuits, is very light. It comes in a small plastic case, which is just perfect and safe to power up the LED strip. To program the strip, Luckily, we don't have to write any code. We're going to be using the ready examples. All you need is to open a sketch in Arduino IDE. Go to Include Library and select Manage Libraries, search for Adafruit, NeoPixel, and install it. Once you've done this, go for the examples under Files list and open up Adafruit RGB Strand Test. You can do very small modifications. Remember that the data pin you're using in your Arduino is the digital pin number six. If not, you can change it from here. You can adjust the number of LEDs in your strip from this line of the code. In my case, I'm using 60 LEDs. You can change the brightness as you wish. Once that's done, go ahead and upload the code to your Arduino. Try choosing different examples and see how the strip reacts to different codes. Since we're talking about the WS2812 RGB LEDs, we would like to present you the NeoPixels rings. They share the same principles as the LED strip, they just have a different shape and it's easy to connect multiple rings together, and you can still control them from Arduino using the same code. The number of LEDs per ring can be 12, 24, 48 or 60, depending on the size of the ring. For more details about each product, you can read the datasheet. It's available on our website.